Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna work on this zombie horde system. So this is based on the tutorial that we did yesterday, uh, where we created a static animated static mesh using anim to texture, and then we used it to create a, a zombie simulation using Niagara. Now today I'm gonna show you how to make them interact with the player so that means now th you see they are following me like this and somewhat like days gone but still even though they catch up to me they they are not really able to do anything they just hang around but that is something I wish to work on later on so yeah for now I'm just gonna work on how to make them follow me and Basically that's it. Alright, so let's see how to do this today. And this uh, this playlist will contain all the things that I do related to this Zombie Horde series. Uh, here and also you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of things that I have done in my channel from the patron page so to the date there are closer to 2000 videos for each video project files are here okay now let's get back to today's tutorial right so this is what we had as of the end of the last episode we have just some boring zombies that running around i have reduced the uh, spawn rate but it's just that's all they do and even if I play the game you see they are not really reacting to the player they are just going about their business just running in a straight direction with some uh, with some randomization to the uh, direction so here yeah, they don't care about me at all okay so now what I want to do is they should be chasing the player for that first let me select I'll just select let me select the Niagara component is yeah let me open that so basically what I have is this actually this gravity force node but all it does is giving some continuous force for them to move in that direction and other than that um, we have this solve forces and velocity which limits the speed to 500 so that's all to this uh, Niagara particle system now in order to make them follow the plane or oh, chase the player here I'll add a line attraction force now as the line start I'll link input so I need to give dynamically give players location to this so let's say I think dynamic input read Read from new emitter, new user parameter to this. Okay, now I rename to this target location. Okay, and the line end. So this should be first this target location and then to randomization to that so here I'll make a random range float and the range vector the reason to make it random is so they will not exactly come to the exact single point so hundred so this is uh, I think if I give the players location to this 
I mean a point hundred above that would be better so at the end it would look like maybe they are jumping let's see how it turns out so this hundred we can point on this later okay now by default this is 100 so if i make it 0 0 fraction strength i think should be higher so now they are moving to the c they should be moving to the 0 0 location or are they this is at zero zero, but they are somewhere over here. All right, maybe because I gave this optimization. Oh wait, no, we still have these other forces as well. This gravity force, these things. So I will reduce this now still i need to have some randomization to their moments so therefore i will not completely remove this okay now they are coming here and they're just doing something okay now in order to connect this to the player's location let's go to the level blueprint So over here, I select NS zombies, create a reference to NS zombies, set Niagara vector, Niagara variable, vector 3. This should be the same name, which is target location. Let me copy that. Then get the yellow. Yeah. Put here. Now, if I play. should be yeah they are coming to me now if i run they are following so now we don't have attack behavior uh, right now it's just they are following me and that's all let's let them come at me for a while okay so here yeah, now they look like a proper zombie horde. But they clump together, which is not something I like. Yeah. We need to keep them dispersed. So maybe here, instead of 500 for everyone, Let's do a randomness. Random range float. 300 to 500. That should make them. Each of them have different. Some difference in their maximum velocity. So that should avoid them clumping together. now they can follow all right so what else we can do to make this better maybe let's give some randomization to the yeah yeah let's just scale mode uniform 
it's yeah dot one five now there should be different scale zombies So thanks for watching, as always updated present files will be available for download in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Next time let's work on some, maybe some how to add some more variations to the same base. No, that does not mean just the, having different meshes, maybe having some variations to the um, materials, colors, different colored bands, things like that. And also yeah uh let's see what else i can come up with also if you have any more ideas feel free to let me know in the comments goodbye